slash win. Entries cost two quid. You can call 09068 782525. Course cost two pounds plus your network access charge or post your name and phone number to BK01. PO Box 7558, Derby, DE10 NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 2 p.m. on Friday, the 25th of January. Good luck. Just imagine you could be our next big winner. That prize is worth over £100,000. Grab your phone because entry can make you a winner. What a great weekend. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Austin. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> uh, lots more still to come, including Hollywood star Billy Zane. No! Us after the break. Is he right here? I'm lying. Oh, Jack's here. Uh, you're watching Good Morning Burn on ITV. It just makes you just sigh, doesn't it? Does it make you sigh? Billy Zane is with us, by the way. Cal, of course, in the Titanic, amongst many other things. Do you sigh when you hit, or do you groan? Yeah, you that go on. I, I, I don't groan. Don't you? I, I, I don't. I, is, it, is it cool to say you do? I, that song cuts me to the quick every time. Oh. <laughs> we'll talk about Titanic a little bit later, if you may. But what, lovely to see you this morning, yeah. Billy. Lovely Thanks to see you. So nice to come back. Uh, fresh Thank off you. picking up an award last night for a new film that you're in called Lucy. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. It was the a, Gold Movie Awards. The Gold Movie Awards. Wow. It's, a, it's the second annual Jesus. festival. It's a yeah. it's a it's an extraordinary yes. thing. It's a it's a for independent films. So it's at the it's a film festival um, that I think is so um, prescient and much needed. There were I think five thousand entries from around the world, extraordinary films. And uh, we are most grateful to receive Best Picture and Best Actor. So tell us a little bit about Lucid as well, because it's the sort of thing I think I will be, well, the trailer I've seen, I was great. Surely. It's, um, it's about lucid dreaming, which I wasn't really aware of. What um, is lucid dreaming? Lucid dreaming is where one can, uh, uh, if instructed uh, properly, can enter uh, in within dream state to consciously change um, uh, perhaps their outcomes in the outer life, meaning it, within the subconscious you can almost have a dress rehearsal on wow. how you will interact and deal, almost from third person watching yourself. This is like a proper thing. I just watched it thinking, you know, that someone's made that up, but what a brilliant idea. No, it's a proper I can do thing. This. You can do it tonight. What? <laughs> <laughs> what would you do is the well, question. Uh, the well, you'd be involved uh -huh. in my lucid movie. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> we'll talk about through later. Oh, it's you. <laughs> but there's a number of fascinating things about this, not least that the director, Adam, is blind, and you didn't mm. realize. And he won an award last night as well. Um, this is true. He, uh, he has a, de you know, degenerative, uh, degenerative eye uh, uh, condition, ailment yeah. condition, and uh, and ha and was blind. I think legally blind when uh, we started the picture. And uh, but didn't tell anyone, That's probably amazing. understandably, as he probably thought he wouldn't. The, 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 the town of the gentleman. You, well, he was. You? We had a giant monitor on on the set, and he was inches from it. And I was wondering why. I was like, "What's with the IMAX over?" And then eventually it was revealed. But he had shaped his, uh, you know, visual narrative and his sensibilities, you know, throughout life. So it it was unnoticeable, to be honest. And he's very, you know, it was peculiar. But he used lucid dreaming to write the script and. Yeah. Theoretically, to direct it every day. Fascinating. Amazing. Your and the other thing I noticed about your character mm. is that he's very hessoot. There's a lot of hair. He Lots has of hair. Long, flowing and locks, beard, and beards, and gray and... Uh, locks, and he's and, I, and and pajamas. I, I modeled the character after like Julian Schnabel and Hefner. You know, he's Fantastic. a sleep specialist, so he spends a lot of time <laughs> horizontal. I figured, why, why throw on other threads? There, look, that, that's there. you. Can we stick that on there, there, uh, Ollie, in the middle there? There's so Elliot. There What's it like to sort of go back and have hair again? Because we've seen you for so many years now. Back to the future. Yes, it's, um, I never had hair that long. No. I wish I had. Because John Travolta recently has, has come out and said, you know what, enough with the trying to hide yeah. the fact that I'm losing my hair. I'm, I'm going to embrace it. it. You've always looked great uh, with your hair. You shaved it off, you know, uh, quite early on, didn't you? I don't know. Who's um, that? He did. Yeah. Why, why do men worry about it, do you is think? That, you is never that a, see... Is that, is that a, a random bald man? That's well, I mean, John Travolta, for many years, that's the point, <laughs> is that John Travolta? Yes, John Travolta. Yeah. He's bleachingly come right. out and embraced he the, looks the great. Fact. Yeah, doesn't I he? did not recognise him. I remember interviewing Bill, uh, Bruce Willis once, and he said, when the grass stops growing, it's time to celebrate. Um, and we uh, men tend to get very het up about this. Mm. Thing, but as Kate was saying, you know, it's... Women it's, love it. It's sexy. I just, I just recently shaved I, a, a moustache, and I had the sidewalls going, which, you know, ages you a bit, but I rather like it. Once a year, I'll kind of grow in a 
beard and what's left of my hair. I rather the, enjoy that. Give the real estate a bit mm. of time to sort of lay fallow for a while. Yes. You've also been um, working on a movie about Marlon Brando, Waltzing with Brando. Correct. Um, we've, uh, we're in town. Uh, the timing for the awards worked perfectly as uh, I'm in town with uh, my uh, writer, uh, director, and our that financer. Be, that, that's you, but that could be <laughs> him, couldn't it? I mean, that's the horror, the horror, extraordinarily yeah. like No, it's it. a wonderful film called Waltzing with Brando uh, about his time in uh, Tahiti with his architect uh, building a geodesic, uh, not a geodesic dome, the, the, the architect was known, Bernie was known for those, actually. Um, but he's a, a forward-thinking uh, gentleman in uh, civil rights and in indigenous rights, as we know. In this case, he was championing the environment, always ahead of the curve, Brando. So it's, it's a charming and unlikely uh, uh, focus upon um, the artist and the icon and the activist. And he was trying to create a, uh, a sustainable compound, you know, 40 years before... Anybody. And on top of that, as if you could have time to do anything else, we're about to see you in Sky's new uh, drama, Curfew, which mm. is street racing. Are you a street racer in this? What's your role there? I'm an unlikely street racer. I'm, I'm a, you know, uh, I've become a street racer, as have a handful of... Uh, of seemingly sane and extraordinary citizens been dropped in this, uh, you know, insane illegal race in the very near future. It's brought to you by the, the good folks who bring you uh, Peaky Blinders yes. and, and uh, Black Mirror. Um, but it's as if it's a high octane, uh, highly cinematic, almost 80s American movie um, piece of entertainment, which is not common on television. No. Um, so it's it's funny, it's got action, it's got horror, a horror element. It's like a John Carpenter movie, wow. but your neighbors have been dropped into it. And we're dropping on February 22nd at 9 p.m. on Sky One. There Very you go. good. Nice. Times to perfection. Neatly done. Stay there for a bit, if you will, Billy. We've got one last look at the weather from Laura. Love your home, whatever the weather. With Good Morning Britain National Weather, sponsored by CheckerTrade.com. CheckerTrade, CheckerTrade.com. Good morning to you. Well, the weekend is nearly upon us and it stays fairly cloudy. A mixed weekend of weather ahead for many. Today it starts off dry. There is more rain later on this weekend, but throughout it stays mild, if not increasingly windy. This is the scene this morning with the cloud that's rolled in. It means it's not as cold to start this morning as it was yesterday morning, but a damp, drizzly start through southern areas. So don't get caught out by that today. The rain will slowly clear away from southern areas, limited amounts of brightness, a little drizzly through western areas, but milder today than yesterday, 8, 9 degrees, maybe topping out at 10 through some western areas. On into the weekend. Saturday looks like a cloudy start. We have a spell of rain slipping its way southward slowly. Behind it, as we head through to Sunday, brighter conditions move into Scotland, Northern England and Northern Ireland. Patchy rain slips southwards, but with that turns increasingly strong winds. So milder this weekend, rain most likely on Sunday. And as we head into next week, it turns increasingly wet and windy for many of us. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com forward slash weather. So, uh, Lucid, when can we get to watch it, Billy? Do you know when that's out? So, uh, this year. It's uh, coming out this year at some point. Uh, yeah, uh, and in, uh, internationally as well. Uh, yeah. UK, we're not sure the exact, exact date, um, but uh, stay tuned. Sounds good. Amazing. Sounds absolutely Thank good. you very much for, Thank coming, you in. Much yeah, for exactly. coming in. Very good to see you. Excellent. Right. That's it from us. Uh, good morning, Britain. We'll be back on Monday at six o'clock. We're going to hand you over to Lorraine. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>